Hello friends, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to see how can we clone the repository from GitHub and build that code. Before writing a Jenkins pipeline, let's create it manually and we'll see how does it work. Then we'll create a job. First, I'm going to create a manual job that is new item. And I'm specifying Maven job. If the name is already there, I'm going to give Maven job 2. And I'm selecting Maven project or else freestyle project. Either way will work. I'm going with Maven project. Okay. Here, you need to choose your GitHub repository. This is my GitHub repository URL. I'm just taking this one. And we don't require any credentials over here. Anyway, I have added my credentials. I can still give my GitHub credentials. In case it is a private repository, it is going to use my credentials. Then, under build, we have the pom.xml. Then, we need to specify our goals. I am just specifying clean install, apply and save and build this one. I have already installed Maven in my system. I will show you later. So just open this one and we'll see. It is running our Jenkins job. And it built my Maven project and it successfully generated a WAR file. So this is how we are going to create a Jenkins job. Now I would like to convert this one into a scripted pipeline. Sorry, declarative pipeline. Before go and do that one. I will just show you that what is my Maven name. Manage Jenkins Global Tool Configuration. And if you see here, Maven installations. My Maven name is Maven 3.6.3 .3 and it is under this path. So I have set up my environment variable. So let's go and open our pipeline job. This is what we have created in our previous lecture. If you haven't followed our previous lecture, please go and check it out. At the time, we just cloning our GitHub repository. That is the reason it has only build stage as a git. Now go to configure. Scroll down. Here we are going to add one more stage. Whenever you want to add one more stage, you need to just add copy this one and you need to paste it under stages. So all our stages sits under stage. It is started over here and ended over here. Now we have two stages. First stage is we are just cloning the repository. Second stage is build. Okay, we can give any name again, but this time we are building it. So I'm giving build, but this is not the syntax. Here we need to add our Maven goals. We have used goals like clean, install, right? So if you specify like this, it cannot able to understand. You need to specify before to this one like MVN. So this is how usually we run command in our Maven servers. Let's go and check it out how this command works in our Jenkins server. I have already logged into my Jenkins server. And if you execute this one, MVN clean install because in my Jenkins already I have installed Maven. But you need to execute this one in the folder where you cloned your repository. Of course, I haven't cloned any repository over here. Just I will show you how the command does execute. You can see here it is executing, but it could not able to find out any pom.xml, so throwing error. Same thing we need to add in our Jenkins pipeline. But this is a shell, right? So usually shell you need to specify with sh and quotes. This is how you can add additional stages in your Jenkins pipeline. So now it has two stages. One is git or else I can say clone code something like this. You can give any name build code. Okay, something like this I am giving apply and save. Before executing, please remember that your command should work in your Jenkins if you execute like that. If you don't know how to set up your Maven, please watch the video which is blinking right side corner at this moment. Now let's build it. And you can see it is building again but this time it comes two stages. 
all right it's failed let's see what is the issue if you see here logs it is saying that mvn command is not found so it could not able to identify because we haven't told about that where exactly maven is available now what we can do is we can check out where is where is mvn so it gives the path where exactly your mvn is located you can see here it is available under opt maven slash pin till here you need to copy and come to our jenkins job configure and you need to add that as a path that is where environments comes into the picture let's introduce one more entry that is environment okay so here you need to specify path of your maven okay this is our maven path but you need to specify path is equal to I'm saying that okay update my path with the new path information and dollar path okay so this is how you need to add your environment so if you have any mistakes it throws you an error while you are saving so we need to keep it under quotes because otherwise it cannot identify there are some special characters let's apply it again and save it now I am opening my job once again and will show you. So I am telling that Maven is available over here. I mean to say Maven command is available over here. First I am just cloning the repository. Then I am building this code by using this particular goals and the MVN is available in this location. That is the meaning of this one. So environment variables we can specify either in the under pipeline or under stage itself. If I specify under stage it will available only for that particular stage. I just make it available as a global one. Let it be apply and save. Now let's build it. Build now and let's see okay this is successful and now it is building code and if you see the stages also it has been changed earlier it was just git now this time this is cloning and we are building it so this is how we can write our jenkins pipeline to clone the repository and build it in next video we are going to see how can we deploy this one in the tomcat server thanks for watching and see you there